This is one of my favorite quotes. This is the former Saudi oil minister. The Stone Age didn't end for a lack of stone, and the Oil Age will end long before we run out of oil. He's warning his fellow princes that the world is going to produce a technology replacement for oil. And we are. Oil fluctuates, it's about a 2%, 2 million barrels per day. Difference in supply demand has caused this huge oil fluctuation. Nobody predicted it, okay? But we are headed there. And EVs, I didn't believe in them three years ago, are going to get us there. Only one in 1,000 vehicles on the road is an electric vehicle. Just one million vehicles out of one billion. It's a trivial number. Couldn't possibly be disruptive. They've got a 60% growth rate, though. And as the battery prices come down, we'll sell more EVs, which will bring down the cost of batteries, which will make EVs cheaper, and we'll sell more EVs. And it's a perfect virtuous cycle. And there's every reason to believe that EVs will ultimately be cheaper than internal combustion cars, because they're far simpler. They have 90% fewer moving parts. And so if you take the learning curve, the rate at which they're improving, and you play out the cost of electric vehicles, they will be not just cheaper than comparable vehicles. By 2030, they'll be cheaper than the cheapest car sold in the US, a two-seater smart car. That's a disruption. And at that point, they will be taking more oil demand off the market than caused the recent plunge in prices. So I don't know what the short-term price of oil is, but the long-term price of oil is very, very cheap as our demand drops.